so welcome back to the channel if you're new hi if you haven't subscribed do that now if you want it's free i am at the long mind i'm going to be reviewing the nature hike manga 2 ultralight tent hope i've said that right it's been a very wet day but it seems to be clearing up now on top of the long mind in the shropshire hills um and i'm gonna go somewhere hopefully somewhere flat without bracken and um and set this tent up i've been reading all the reviews watching videos and i just thought it looks too good to be true so i thought i'd go and buy one and, and test it out it looks suspiciously like the hubba hubba msr tent and it's like a third of the price i think i paid 150 pounds on amazon i'll leave a link um but from all the reviews i've read it looks to be a good bit of kit but it arrived today we're very excited today to get out and get get in it get it set up so i just thought i'd come up the long mind The long wind's about 1400 foot above sea level, something like that, so it's quite high up. I'm hoping it's not too cold this evening. This would be a nice spot, but it's a bit close to the path. Got a little, little stream, a little tarn almost. You can see down into um, Church Stratton down there. This is nice, but it's too close. Too close to the path. Let's keep looking. I'm so tempted to just go back the other side of that though, but I'm wild camping here. I don't want people walking past me. I want this nature to myself almost. Keep going. I'm hoping the rain just holds off for a little bit feeling when you've got a brand new fresh tent never been out of the packaging and you just want to set it up but also you don't want to get it wet but we'll see who doesn't like a, the sound of rain on a on a tent after you've set it up So I'm hoping this new tent can be my new sort of bike touring tent, kayaking tent, when sort of hammocking isn't available. Because when I cycled across Wales and I only had the hammock with me, you know, it was dependent on finding those two perfect trees in that perfect spot, which I did find. But tents sometimes can be easier for that sort of stuff. Um, I've got lots of other tents, Quechua ones from Decathlon, um, but they're disc shaped. They're really good tents. They're a bit awkward shaped to put in a kayak or take up a mountain on your pack or whatever. I'm looking forward to setting this tent up as you can probably guess. It's like Christmas. Can't wait to climb, uh, camp up somewhere high with Zoe. So she can do a mountain camp for the first time. All right, what are those two sheep guarding up there? Is it an amazing camping spot? Let's go and find out. I think I've found my spot. There's these little roots everywhere. 
dead bracken, so I have to watch out for that then. I might put it on here with amazing views. So this is the Nature Hike Mongar 2 Ultralight Tent. I think I've found a decent enough spot to set it up. Comes with this nice little strap to hold it all together. Keep that safe in the bag. Instructions in the bag there, but I'm watching enough YouTube videos. I should know how to do this by now. Oh, so yes, I should know how to do it. The footprint first. Now to get the poles on. Poles are in here. Another sort of individual bag. Do you know what? Let's check it's comfortable first. That's actually not too bad, it's pretty flat. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Oh, still got plastic wrapping on these. So this is all one hole that connects up. Apparently this is aluminium grade. Aluminium grade? Um, start again. Airplane grade aluminium. So hopefully it lasts and it stays strong. It feels pretty sturdy. It feels almost like double walled. Maybe that's just on those connected parts. Okay, and this frame is symmetrical, so it goes around anyway. And you just pop it in these holes down here. On these sides there. Top like that rather than hanging underneath, but we'll sort that when we get to it. Okay, so now let's put the inner on. I believe this is the inner. Again, this can go either way. I think there's doors both sides, and it just clips back under where you've clipped it before. You see what I'm doing? Yes, you can see what I'm doing. It just clips. This one goes underneath there. This one goes underneath. A little bit tightness in those underneath. Right now, these are just twist and pull. Twist, come on. Yes, I'm saying these just twist onto it. Starting to take some shape now. That's got to be over the top. That's something there, apart from the sheep. Okay, that's the ground and the fly sorted. It's looking pretty good. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm impressed with that so far. Right, let's get the, the rain cover on. Okay, the word in where it's darker is the inside, I believe. No. Well, sorry, I'm on YouTube with you. It's just different. This is forest green colours. Comes with ten of these really cool red aluminium pegs. They feel really strong. Is it one tent complete? Pretty good. So I think I'm just going to set up the inside. I'm going to stick you on a time lapse. Maybe put a bit of music on. Just chill for you know 30 seconds while I just get my stuff together. Thought I'd bring you in to just so you show you how nice it is in here. Got two nice areas, they're called vestibule areas, outside the tent. I'm gonna be cooking in my trencher probably on this side in a minute. Got both sides opened up. There's loads of room in here. Like I was saying, compared to that sort of coffin style tents where you're like that, and you can't sit up, or about to that, you know, can fully sit up. I'm just over six foot, so really good, really good room. But I'll show you what I'm going to be sleeping on tonight. So underneath this, is, that's just the, the tent there, but it has got that sort of floor mat, whatever it's called underneath there. So I'm going to be using my very old Van Gogh ultralight sleeping bag. It's a summer bag, really. It says it might go down to five degrees tonight, so hopefully it doesn't. But I'm sure I'll be warm enough. I usually sleep quite warm anyway. So I've got that sleeping bag, and I've got a 
I've actually got Zoe's um, sleeping pad. Uh, yeah, it's pretty decent. I'm looking to get a wider sleeping pad just because I like to sleep on my side. So I've got that, and then I've got the, this is a Van Gogh pillow. Oh, which is really comfortable actually. It's got a name. Mango Air or something like that. Mango Deep Sleep Firmer. A couple of breaths into that. I don't like it to be fully pumped. I like it to be a bit squished, otherwise it's squashing my ears. The sun is shining there. Let's have a little look at that. Yes, the weather's getting nice. So maybe we can cook outside. We can't really see the flame on there, but it is lit. It's protected from the wind. when you're camping you've got just little bits everywhere you just got to keep your eye on them okay i'll put this in that bag and i'll put this in this bag and i'll keep that there and i'll put this there or is that just an organized camper you can see some distant rain over there hoping it doesn't come over the scenery is beautiful the sun is nice i've got my lightweight oex chair out i've seen it in some of my previous videos um, nice chair, got it from uh, Go Outdoors. Pretty pricey at around 50 or 60 quid, but it is very lightweight. And when we're doing wild camps, I'm fed up of taking a big chair. I know you don't have to take a chair, but it just makes that a bit more comfortable, doesn't it? So that is definitely boiling there. Yep. Highly recommend trainer equipment. And this tent so far, it's only been a night though. I've not slept in it. It's not rained yet, so can't trust me just yet. Let's wait until tomorrow before I say it's definite a must buy. I'm very happy with it at the moment. Look at my view. It's still pretty nice. Might stick you on time lapse for a bit if you want. You can just watch those clouds roll across there. Okay, no sizzle. <coughs> Gonna take a while to heat up. Obviously, I'll be taking all my litter home with me. I'll have a litter pick around the site as well to see if there's anything else here before I leave. But it looked pretty litter free when I got here, which is really nice. Oh, that sun is nice. But yeah, I'm gonna cook these burgers. I should probably come back to you when, um, when something's actually happening because that's just cold burgers. It's gonna take a while for, the, for it to build up, but let me show you around. The sun's out. It's beautiful. I think this is bilberry, maybe. A 
Loving the design of the tent though. It's really nice inside. It would be nice on a really sort of nice summer night to have the the rain cover off and just lie out looking at the stars. So the burgers are pretty much done now. I've got salt and pepper baps with me. I didn't bring any cheese or sauce, but that's not a problem. But the sky is amazing. The sun's almost about to set. I'm gonna eat these burgers. And uh, watch the sunset. Well, I'll just show you this burger. There's my salt and pepper bap. Check out, you ready for the burger? Wrong hand. Oh, it's so small compared to the bear. Oh dear. Back to the sunset. <laughs> faded away. Just a few bits of light left. It's getting quite cold so I think what I'm gonna do is get back in the tent, make a brew sort of in the vestibule area and um, go to bed. If the stars do come out tonight I'll put some photos in. Don't think it's gonna happen. There might be some rain this evening. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it so far and I'll get back to you in the morning. Good morning. The tent has not leaked. It's been raining pretty much all night. It's 5.40. Let's have a look out there. Let's have a look at... Pretty wet out there. Not too bad in that direction. I'm going to wait it out in the tent. I hate leaving with a wet tent. That's done. Make some porridge and a brew because this rain is forecast for a few more hours yet. Um, it's still. About six o'clock in the morning. I've had a good night's sleep. I've enjoyed it. No rain's come through. No condensation at all. I think that's just because it's just mainly mesh inside. But this pocket is really good. I had my phone in there last night, facing me while I was lying on the, uh, you know, lying down with a Netflix playing. Oh, that's going. Right, let me deal with this. So I didn't burn the place down. Um, I have got the tent well vented both sides. So that's why I'm using my trenger in, in this area here. Um, got my coffee, got my porridge. Just gonna let that die out. Um, it's not getting hot. Uh, keep my eye on that. And just... Hopefully the tent dries out soon when it stops raining.
rain. The rain has finally stopped. Let's see what the sky's looking like. It's about half seven now. Oh, much better. All right, let's get her. It's turned into a gorgeous morning. The birds are loving it. The tent has performed brilliantly. No leaks inside, apart from the one coffee I spilled. I had to mop it up with my socks. Good job I bought a second pair. Oh, it's just beading off, I love that. I'm going to try and dry this out before I leave. Yeah, hopefully that sunshine keeps breaking through. So I've got all my stuff from in the tent packed away. It's just the tent there and it's looking pretty dry. Really dry on this side. Yeah, I wasn't expecting so much rain, but it rained from about three in the morning, heavy, until about eight, half seven, eight this morning. So that was a decent first, first test for it. But that's inside. Anything in? Plenty of space. So I'm all cleared away, left no trace. And I'm parked way over the other side of that hill. But if I remember right, I think I came from this way. I don't want to just be traipsing through this. Lovely little bit of countryside. So I'll keep to their little sheep trails. It's down here and right. But yeah, it was a lovely, lovely night. Looking forward to going on some more adventures with this tent. I may put the wet, the outer sheet into a sort of its own little dry bag, just so it's easier to pack away. It wasn't that hard to pack away, but it was hard to put in that um, the bag it came in. Got it in there, but sometimes you just want to stuff it in and that's it, it's done. I suppose I'm just used to a, a tarp. See you later, sheep. Thanks for hosting me last night. So I went far, really, from the path. A bit further than the other spot I found. But I was sort of up behind that hill. So if someone did walk past there, I don't think they would have been able to see my tent. Not that that matters. Oh, some long min ponies over there. When I was camping last night, I like to, any noises I can hear in the daylight, I like to check them out and just make sure, you know, I can see what it is. 
So when I hear those noises at night, I don't freak out. But I heard like hooves and lots of munching of grass. And I looked out and there was a long min pony not far from the tent. There's about three over there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them. Mixed in with the sheep. Um, I really enjoyed that camp. Uh, good tent, Mangar 2 nature hike, ultralight tent. I'm impressed. Um, obviously, I'm gonna use it a bit more before I give it the full seal of approval. But uh, about four or five hours of heavy rain, no leaks. So it's really good tent. Loving these views on the way back. But I got that feeling like, I don't remember where I parked the van. Which hill was it over? Was it that way? Was it that way? Well, hopefully I'll find it soon. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, hit a like. David Brent, hit the like. Um, yeah, and appreciate everyone that subscribed. I'm almost at 200 subs, which is amazing. The channel's grown quite, you know, really good. And I appreciate everyone that subscribed. So keep watching and I'll keep making content. See you soon.